All right, if I was to, I would also say to pray, you got to pray. You got to pray just to make it today. <laughs> Let me know if you recognize that. That's a song. But anyway, pray, okay, because it's very important to stay putting God first, right? When you put God first, how do you do that? Well, you pray. When you're walking under your breath, you're just saying, God, help me. Little things like that. I think those little things matter a lot. God, help me with this. God, help me to talk and say the right thing. God, just give me your grace. Give me your guidance. That's what I like to do whenever I'm walking around. And God will help you. There's a scripture that says, thank you, Lord, that you always hear me when I pray. There was a man, he made the uh, book called One Minute Manager, but he had just given his life to Christ and he was trying to learn how to pray and he was finding difficulty praying. And uh, he said what he would do is he would put his shoes underneath the bed so that when he got out of his bed, he needed to go under the bed, go on his knees. And when he fell on his knees, he remembered that he needed to pray and he started to pray every morning. But I would ask you to, if you want to pray more, try to implement it in a practical way. That's why I put a lot of practical things in my videos because there's a lot of practical things that can help your spiritual life. Some people are overly spiritual and they just love God, but they find that they can't have victory in some areas in their life because there's only some things where you have to really be practical about those things. You, can, you have to be practical about prayer. You know, what time are you going to pray? Um, how, how long, you know, if you have a family to feed, you can't pray 12 hours in a day. So, you, or else you'll get fired from your job. So, you need to actually implement some practical things. Some things that I do is I just make sure that I'm praying first thing in the morning. Like, I know that when I wake up, I'm going to pray. So, I have to think practically the night before. I can't just watch five movies. I have to get to bed a little earlier so that I can pray. And so I think that's really important to be unstoppable. You gotta put that in your schedule. Some people might say, man, I don't know if I can afford to take that time to pray. Well, I don't know if I can afford not to do that because a lot of things, if not everything in my life, came from the power of prayer. And I think it's very important that we implement these things in a real practical way because that's how we put things that we value in our lives. It's a lot of these things that we think that it's very, you know, just not that important in our lives, but it's actually the cornerstone. It's the thing that's actually giving us the victories that we have in our lives, and that's prayer. The last thing I would say if I was to give advice to my kids about how to be unstoppable in their lives, I would say believe. You have to believe, you have to have faith, you have to trust that the things that you're doing is powerful. The things that you're doing are making a difference. The things that you're doing are making waves, right? And you have to know that God put you here for a purpose, you have, but you have to believe that. There's gonna be days when your people are gonna be against you. There's gonna be times when um, the outside world doesn't want to agree with everything that you believe. That's why you have to believe, not based off of any evidence on the outside. You just have to believe and have faith that whatever you're believing, that's going to show up on the outside. Because really, that's how everything came into being. The building that I'm in right now, it didn't exist, but somebody believed that they could do this. And then they gathered the resources, and then it just happened, right? Every building, look at every building outside, it's all because someone had faith before the building existed. Whatever they were trusting in, they could be trusting in a lot of different things, but those buildings are here now. So I would have my kids have faith. Jesus said, have faith in God. You have to have faith in God. To be unstoppable, you have to have faith. You have to pray. You have to put God first in your life. Enjoy, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. God bless you. Guys, one more thing that I want to show you before you go. My bonus. The bonus is really the word. You guys need these words that are right here. I'm going to show you this book. See this? Yeah. All right. It is the Bible for children. And I think that whoever you are, you need to take a look at this because... 
there is words here. See, we, we, we ought to be, we shouldn't be childish, right? But we should have the heart of a child, right? In concerning a lot of things. And this is something I've read for my kids, but I feel like I got a lot out of it myself. It's just really written nicely, really written well. So um, there's one part that I think is just super important. And I think that anybody can benefit from really looking at this. Um, it's just the part where it says this, and I'm going to read it to you, right? Ah, here we go. All right, it says here, right? It says here, Jesus began to tell people about God. He knew he had a lot of work to do, and he went to find some helpers. And I'm just going to stop there. So I think that's really good. So even Jesus needed helpers, needed people that would help him do all this work. It's a lot of work, right? And it just reminds me that we all need each other. You know, we need each other to get work done. And, um, you know, I, I think it's really important to have that kind of humble kind of heart that you don't know everything. And, um, and so I need this, you know. And so my bonus is really uh, God's word is just really great. And, but I can't, I shouldn't just be alone. I, I need people with me, around me. And I want to encourage you, you know, have people around you um, and really, you know, look at, look at God like a child. Look at this word, these words like a child. Okay, y'all, that's it for today and have a great day. Enjoy. All right. Bye-bye. All right. If Like, that's pretty good. <laughs>